OCT technology allows me to see things that my human eye cannot see. It lets me see below the surface. I recommend everyone having an OCT done once a year at minimum. Let's go into more detail about what an OCT is and some of the common conditions we often diagnose with the OCT. An OCT is a laser scan of the back of the eye. Think of it like an ultrasound, except instead of being done with sound, it's being done with light. And what we want to see is a nice dip in the macula where you get all of your detailed vision. And the center of the macula is called the fovea. And you'll see the fovea has a nice little dip. Also, we want to make sure we've got that nice, consistent red and yellow line. You can see on our eye where the fovea and macula is. There are some conditions of the back of the eye that we can see with the OCT. The first is wet macular degeneration, and that's when there's swelling where you get all your detailed vision. In contrast, there's also dry macular degeneration where there's no bleeding or swelling, but we get these calcium and lipid deposits. With macular edema secondary to diabetes, we can see swelling of the macula, and that's an indication that we need to get the diabetes under tighter control. We can also have an epiretinal membrane, which is where there's some cells growing on the macula. Now, the back of the eye is filled with a jello-like substance called vitreous. And with time, that vitreous can start shrinking away from the retina at the back of the eye, and it can start pulling the retina with it. We want to make sure it never pulls a macular hole through the center of the retina. We can also have pigment detachments of the back of the eye, and there's also some swelling that typically type A folks can get, called central serous. These are a few things we can see with the OCT.